go we're on okay we uh we just successfully installed the uh, factory cruise control on this car here so let's show it off and we'll show the uh, special custom green light special custom green light yes so uh the perfect circle cruise control first became available in 1957 chrysler products and became available in Cadillac in 1959. Same unit was used until 1966, um, with very minor differences. Uh, when you uh, set your speed desired, uh, your desired speed, when you get to the desired speed, there's back pressure felt on the accelerator pedal. What road do you think we should go to get some speed up here? Uh, not any of these. How about Brighton Road? Okay. Up to Mount Prospect. Oh, you're not gonna like this. So right now we're at, we have the cruise control set to 30 miles an hour right now. So as I'm accelerating and I hit 30, the throttle gets very hard. As it gets hard, I then hit the button, and now as you can see, the green light is active, and the cruise control is active, and my feet are dancing in the air, and we're going uh, 30 miles an hour here. Just five miles over the speed limit on this road. <laughs> now, if I wanted to increase the speed, I can merely just advance the dial and it will advance, as you can see. And if I retard the dial back, the speed will drop. Cool. The uh, green light uh, is a custom installation. Um, Cadillac installed a green lens in the dash and never used it. For 1962, I have no idea what the purpose of the green lens for. I was suspecting it might have been for cruise control. It could have also been a cold light, but uh, we took the circuit for the uh, lock and relay and uh, interrupted it along its path and put a light bulb in series. The current of the relay causes the bulb to glow. So and essentially, the bulb was only on when the cruise control is engaged. And uh, you know, as with modern cruise control, with the light tap and a brake cruise control disengages and you know all right what size bulb did you have to use i believe that's a uh that's a 161 bulb it, it it's a 194 type of bulb as far as the base is concerned but it's not a 194 bulb because a 194 uh consumes more amperage than a 161 there's like a 161 a 168 uh there's a 171 i think and then there's a 194 and they all have different uh brightnesses and uh they also uh, consume more or less amperage. So I tried to use the bulb that consumed the least amount of amperage to uh, match the draw of the relay in the cruise control. Well, that sure is interesting. So we're pleased with the installation. We uh, purchased a salvage unit off of eBay and uh, restored the uh, servo unit and uh, did some restoration work to the dash end here and uh, let's go left let's see how it does on hills mm -hmm. are we engaged yet again no. we are now okay Okay, the green light means we are now engaged. How nice. Very sweet. Well, all things considered, uh, since we have two speedometer cables here and they're supposedly, the speedometer is very bumpy, it's pretty steady, I think. Yes. Um, carefully cleaned and uh, lubricated the cables, so we'll see how long that lasts. But as you can see, it's uh, holding the set speed very nicely. How'd you do the brake? The, uh, what, the, the brake light switch? Mm hmm Well, I had the correct switch. I did not have the, uh, uh, it was like a, a post that sticks out of the brake pedal linkage that engages with the switch, so we use a nut and a bolt for now, but uh, they do sell types of hardware you can put in there. I'm try, trying to remember the name of it right now. Right. Like some sort of a locking pin. So uh, the switch is uh, its a proprietary switch to the unit. Um, 
you could use a modern cruise control brake switch which is a three terminal brake switch and that would probably work fine with this but we had the proprietary switch and hooked it up and it works too and essentially uh, the, the servo unit under the hood has power all the time and then the brake switch is interrupting the power going to the relay so when the relay is uh, disengaged the unit automatically powers down okay another success story here so that's the end of the 1962 Cadillac show but stay tuned for a little PS that uh, follows this presentation what do you got there so we changed the transmission cooler hoses on the car in the front sometime back and they've been changed before but we had a leak at the rear of it by the trans and there are short hoses that go from the metal line into the transmission right well the original whoa how do you know the hose clamps are dated january 1962 on them and the way the hose is designed, it's got a yellow marking on it that says trans, and that's something that's reminiscent of the original GM hose. Wow. Any markings on the hose? Just says trans. Oh, okay. And in, in yellow ink, or yellow stamping. All right. The hose clamps are dated, January 62. Wow. The original, uh, original Tower Wittick tower clamps. So these cars are supposed to have them on the trans cooler lines. They've probably been long gone on most cars. Hmm. So we replaced them with modern crap. Modern crap, okay. Yes.